Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to show y'all how to apply a couple of fixes to the Xenia Canary emulator. Uh, this is very simple and very straightforward so I'm not going to waste a lot of time. The first thing I'll mention though is that you need the experimental version of Canary in order to apply these fixes. The reason is the experimental version of Canary comes with this file canary.config.tomi. This is what you need in order to fix the screen tearing and the audio delay in the Xenia emulator. So you're going to click on that file and there's two things you're going to change. One is this, max queued frames. By default this is set to 64. You're going to change that to 3. This will fix the sound delay. Then you're going to scroll down to where it says D3, D12 and you're going to change this option. So allow variable refresh rate and tearing. And if I can get it perfect, there we go. By default this is set to true. You're going to change that to false. This will fix the screen tearing. And that's all there is to it. Once you're done you click save and you're finished. Now you can have a basically flawless experience with Xenia. This fix also works with the Steam Deck. Once you've booted up XeniaCanary.exe for the first time, you'll get this file. You go in, make the exact same changes on the Steam Deck that I made here, and you're golden. And this emulator runs pretty well on Steam Deck, or I should say that GoldenEye on this emulator runs pretty well on the Steam Deck. I'm sure that's what most people want to play is GoldenEye on Steam Deck. Uh, or GoldenEye on Xenia, the, the canceled remaster, and possibly play it on their Steam Deck. Uh, I actually haven't tried any other games with Xenia, so I don't know how the compatibility is, but when it comes to that 2007 GoldenEye remaster, it's basically perfect. And, uh, with my laptop, I run this on an RTX 3050. It's a, uh, it's a, you know, a mobile, I guess what you would call a mobile version of it. It's a four, uh, 4 gig VRAM. Uh, I get a locked 60 frames per second. On my Steam Deck, it's a locked 50 mostly. So it's, it's perfectly playable. I don't have any real issues with it. Um, but yeah, that's it. Full disclosure, I did not come up with this fix on my own. I found it on a, a Reddit thread. So I just wanted to make a video version of it. So it would be a little bit easier for people to figure out and to follow along with. Uh, and uh, yeah, but shout outs to that Reddit thread to the guy who posted this uh, because I just assume that, you know, maybe my laptop wasn't strong enough to run the game. So that's why I was having those issues. But no, it's just two really simple fixes you make in the uh, configuration file and you're all good. But that's it. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Uh, I will ask that you hit the like button and also consider subscribing because I'm going to be doing more videos and have something of a more like regular update uh, schedule. Uh, I know I haven't uploaded anything to this channel in basically a year, but going forward I am going to do more videos, not necessarily tutorials like this, though if something comes along I will make a video about it if I have a game where there's some kind of issue and I find there's a fix for it, you know, I'll do something like this. but. It's just going to be more like general video game discussions and gameplay and things like that. So if that sounds interesting to you, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about anything here or something that I missed or if you're having issues or trouble uh, doing this for yourselves. If I, you know, if there's any way I can help, I'm more than happy to. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time.